we're back in the kitchen. Let's talk about my favorite way to use garden cucumbers. And just to give credit where credit is due, I got this original recipe on the Culinary Compass, which I will link below in the description box. So these are white cucumbers. I got the seeds from Baker Creek. Of course, with this recipe, you can probably use any cucumber. I would say it's slightly sweeter than a normal cucumber, but it has all of that fresh, crisp, cool cucumber taste that I really love. And as far as cucumber plants go in the garden, this has been really popular with the bees, but not very popular with pests or diseases either. So this is definitely one I'm going to grow again in the spring. So let's talk ingredients now. My favorite thing about this recipe is you can mix and match a lot. So I use rice vinegar, but actually white vinegar is really great too. It gives a really strong vinegar flavor if that's what you like. Um, I also use sesame oil. You could just use vegetable oil if that's what you have. Whatever you have that you can kind of swap in and out works really great in this recipe and that's why I'm always making it. And the other two important ingredients are going to be salt and sugar. And just trust me on the sugar thing. So we're going to mix up the sauce first. Start with your vinegar, add your oil. Again, whatever vinegar and oil combo you've got will be just fine. And then add your salt and your pepper. And my trusty fish sauce. If you don't have that or if you're a vegetarian, you can totally make the recipe without it. I just really enjoy the flavor. Now mix it all up and we're going to move on to our aromatics. So that's another thing I really like about this recipe is it's a good opportunity to use the herbs that you've got in your garden. So there I've got cilantro, which tastes really great. If you don't have it, that's okay. And then I've got green onions from my garden as well. Um, I believe the recipe that I posted recommends red pepper flakes and lime juice. Again, totally a great recipe to just mix in and out whatever it is that you like. Here we go with the sugar. Um, I like sugar in this recipe. I've tried making it without it. It is not as good. If you have honey, you can use honey. I don't tend to have that in my house and I actually don't really care for it, so I just use sugar instead. And at this point, make sure you mix it up really good. You want the flavors to be even before you add the cucumbers. So some additional notes on this recipe. This is good in the refrigerator in my personal experience for about two or three days before things start to get slimy. Um, it is best after it's been refrigerated for about an hour or so. And I like to serve and eat this when I'm serving stuff from the grill. So grilled chicken, um, basically any kind of time when you would normally serve like a coleslaw is a really great time to have this recipe. Even though it's called an Asian cucumber carrot salad, it just is a really great fresh thing to have in the summertime as a side dish. Lastly, I always top it with my favorite thing, sesame seeds. Thanks for watching!